A quick recap of the headlines that we're tracking this evening. The Cabinet approves the 76,000 crore rupee production link incentive scheme for the semiconductor industry. The move is aimed at attracting global firms like MediaTek, Intel, Qualcomm and Texas Instruments while making India an electronics hub. The much-awaited cryptocurrency and official digital currency bill fails to make it to the Cabinet agenda today. The absence casts a cloud on the bill making it to Parliament this winter session. The bill is to facilitate... The other bill to facilitate bank privatisation is also unlikely to be tabled in Parliament this year. A day of choppy trade on the Lal Street as investors turn cautious ahead of a crucial decision from the US Fed. The Sensex and the Nifty make repeated attempts to break into the green but are beaten back. The rupee weakens past 76 to the dollar. Geomart joins hands with WhatsApp to deliver groceries as the move will bring 60 million Kirana store and small businesses into the digital space. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, expands its partnership with the Central Board for Secondary Education. Zuckerberg says the tie-up will provide a curriculum on digital safety on, and augmented reality for over 10 million students and 1 million educators over the next three years. A big ruling in favour of taxpayers at the Delhi High Court quashes more than 1,300 tax notices and rules that the tax department cannot reopen assessment after three years. As per the new rules, more than 3,500 similar petitions are pending before Delhi, Bombay, Madras and Calcutta High Courts. Two-wheeler giant TVS and German car maker BMW will ride into the Indian electric vehicle market together. Both companies will jointly create an EV platform through an exclusive partnership and deliver their first electric two-wheeler within 24 months. Both are looking at uh, taking their products global as well. Joining us now to take us through the details of that is Parikshit Lutra. Parikshit, uh, uh, they already do have an agreement. What is this specific partnership about? Well, there are two legs to this uh, announcement. Yes, BMW and TVS already have a production partnership. Uh, TVS uh, makes motorcycles for the BMW, which go to global markets. Uh, what the company has announced today is a tie-up for future technologies and electric vehicles. Both the companies will jointly develop an electric vehicle which will arrive in the market within the next 24 months, within the next two years. Uh, when asked about the pricing of this product, Sudarshan Venu, the Joint Managing Director of TVS Motor Company, say, said that this will be uh, for the aspirational youngster in global markets. It will be high on technology, high on uh, connectivity as well. It will be a completely new EV platform, but at the same time, BMW and TVS have been collaborating on the Apache range of motorcycles. Uh, specifically Apache 310 and there will be a new version of Apache 310 that will be launched next year and there is a successor to the 310 cc motorcycle that BMW and TVS are also working on. There are other products in the pipeline, other EV products in the pipeline as well but uh, this will be a collaboration to watch out for specifically in terms of the EV push of TVS Motor Company. All right, thanks very much Parikshit for joining us. That's it then on this edition of Reporters Diary. Stay tuned, Markets Today takes the action forward.